Okay. Hey, everybody. It's time for learning how to cook risotto. Um, we are going to make this together today. I've got all my ingredients and um, I've got them all sorted out, which you can see over here by my uh, stove. And, and we get started. So I started by um, washing my mushrooms and rinsing them off. Um, some of these are have been in the fridge a little long, so I'm going to have to sort some of them out. But the rest I will chop up and get ready to cook. If you're uh, starting out, um, Jill, you might want to chop your onions and your garlic. Okay. Perfect. I'm cheating because I had some pre-chopped in my freezer. Okay. So I don't have to do that step today. But that's where you want to start is chopping up your vegetables that you're going to use. Okay. And you want to probably chop it pretty fine so that it's not like big hunks of onion when you take a bite of rice. Okay. That sounds good. And then we've got to figure out an option for me to use instead of the mushrooms. I think we were talking broccoli or something. Yeah, um, I think that would be really good. Um, I'd probably also use green peas, but green peas are like one of my favorites and everything. Yeah. So. Peas have been out of stock at the grocery store where, where I live. That's hilarious. Yeah, I can't get frozen peas. I only can get canned ones. Oh, pink ones are mushy. I don't like those. I, I know. I prefer the frozen ones too, but. Well, maybe if the summer starting, you can um, get some at the farmer's market. Yeah. I like to buy local fresh oh, produce. I have anyway. fresh sugar snap peas. I have fresh sugar snap peas. Oh, that'd be good in this. I have like celery and stuff like that. So I can use the, the sugar snap peas. That'd be good. Okay. Good idea. I did a veggie tray and so I had those left over. Uh, and then because the mushrooms, you saute them and so they, and those would take well to sauteing and it'd make them a little bit softer to go with the soft rice. Okay. So I should probably do that with the, the snack piece as well as maybe get those cooking so that they can soften a little. Not yet, no. Okay. You'll do it, do it when I cook the mushroom, when I cook my mushrooms. Okay. Normally, I would expect that this recipe would have, you know, 15. Uh, dog sees something outside. Yeah. Hey. Stop. Stop. No. Not as loud as my dog. If my dog sees something, it would be pretty hard on your ears. Watch no. the recording. The neighbor's house. I know when somebody comes in and out of their house every day. Yeah. And he's just being a watchdog. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Cindy, you have to remind me how to mince this garlic. Oh, um, do you have, is it a whole garlic clove? Yeah, I have a clove. Okay. I'm just pulling it apart so I can pick the, pick the cloves off. Yeah, pick the cloves out and then, um, I just chop the ends off, the stem end and the pointy end, and then peel the paper off. The okay, so just two cloves? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Since it's fresh, you don't need as much. I, I have a jar of the pre mince today. Well, and I do, I have the pre mince as well, but I figured, well, this is calling for the garlic. Let's see if this is still good. Yeah, as long as it's not soft, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's not soft. So it's good. I just had it in my produce, like little my bowl that I have sitting out. Yeah, I like using fresh garlic. It gives you more flavor. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm finding because I've always done the like stuff that's already pre-done just because of much faster. Yeah, and I hardly ever use dried garlic, although there is some in my house right now because my son uses it when he was here. Yeah. Summer. So. I'm just chunking up these mushrooms into 
um, bite-sized pieces, but I don't want them tiny. Okay. And so if you, for your peas, they'll, you don't probably have to chop them. Just... Okay. Should I get a skillet out for that? Or does that just Eventually, go yeah, we're going to need a skillet. Okay. You I'm need a... Your head. Sorry. It's okay. You need a pot to boil things. Okay. To boil the top in. I generally like to use a mix of mushrooms. Um, at Costco, I found this, it's got all these weird shaped mushrooms and um, that's really good. It adds lots of flavor variety to the mushroom. Um, okay. I make a mushroom pasta too and I use them in that. Oh, wow. But today all I have is the um, baby Bellas. Those are my favorite. I like them a lot. But I, I, I like it better when we can, when I can mix them and just adds a little bit of depth to the flavor somehow. All right, have you got your onion? I chopped up my onion and I'm mincing my garlic right now. Okay. I don't have the second phone. That's what I need to get set up, is that I need to set that up so that you can see what I'm doing. That's okay. I got it set up on a box and then my little, um, my cut cutting board is underneath. You should see how mine's set up. I've got, <laughs> I got a, an old canister and a little prop and then I've got my ring light over here. <laughs> All makeshift. Yes, yes. It's so funny to actually see how these videos are actually done and everything, right? I know when people will show you. And then I have a little uh, lap desk that I've got set up on my counter that yeah. is where my computer sits. <laughs> right. I just took one of those boxes from like the Michaels or whatever that you can oh, yeah. put. They're like the decorative boxes. That's my holder for my kit for my yep. computer to set up. That works. All right, I'm going to move this camera over to by the stove. They're going to be good garlic. So we'll be right in that. And here you'll see the back of my head. But. <laughs> I never feel like I can get the, the garlic like chopped up fine enough sometimes. Oh, I have, I found, I finally found a garlic press that actually works. It's this one and it's got um, like these lines here that work like, oh. um, and you put the garlic clove inside there. Uh-huh and it pushes it through and that actually like minces the garlic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm like chopping it by hand. So it's Yeah, I, I usually do that cuz this is a kind of a pain to clean, but if you have to do a lot, this is a great thing. Yeah. I should probably put a link to some of those tools that I like on the website. Yeah. Like, so it might be helpful to put like into the recipes too that you're using them with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And tools and stuff. So, okay. So I've got the garlic and the onions chopped. Okay. And you've got your peas ready. Yep. I just got to get those out of the fridge. Okay. Yeah, I already got them ready. So I have a whole package of them. Okay. And are they ready to, they're washed and ready to use? Yeah. Yep. They're all good. Okay. Uh, so I'm going, we're going to turn on the stove and I'm going to put the olive oil in my skillet. And we're doing this in a skillet, right? Yes. And then you need a pot to warm up the broth. Yeah. Should I use a small skillet or like a big one? Use a big one. Okay. So I'm going to dump my broth in my pot. Okay, which kind of broth? Because I have both. Does it matter? I have vegetable. It doesn't broth. matter. If you want to make vegetarian, use vegetable broth. If you want, if you don't care, use whatever you got. Okay. Well, I've got vegetarian open right now, so I'll just do that one. Yeah. 
it doesn't really matter. It's like vegetable. I said vegetarian, but it's just the regular vegetable. Yeah, vegetable. yeah that's fine. Okay. So I'm putting that. Where am I putting the broth? To put the broth in the pot on the stove and start heating it up. Because okay, and how much of that should I put in there? All of it. I think the recipe calls for six cups. Oh, six cups. Okay. So, so you want to use the package. Dump the whole thing in there. Yeah. Okay. Or if you have homemade broth, you want to uh, make sure you have at least six cups. Because that's the key to risotto is that it takes a lot of liquid. Okay, so I need to go get some more because I think I have about half of it with stone. Oh, okay, yeah, you will. I mean, I got to go back into my pantry to get another thing. But just give me that for an While she's getting her um, broth, I'm moving my camera over so that it can see the skillet a little better. Yeah, that's better. And my oil is starting to shimmer. Cindy, I think your your iPhone went off because it's just black. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Is it back? There it is. Okay. Yep, yep I can see it now. All right. So, so I heat it well up. So turn the heat. Turn, do I turn the heat on now on the broth? Yeah, turn the heat because it'll take it a few minutes to boil. Okay. So turn the heat on on the broth and then heat your oil up. The problem with having uh, onions in the freezer is they get a lot of moisture in them. So then you get a little bit of uh, popping when you put them in the oil. Oh. In the skillet and then put the, what am I putting in first? Um, I, the onions and the garlic go in about the same time. I'm also okay. heating and using pre-minced garlic, so. Now what should I have my stove at? I cook everything on high because I'm impatient. <laughs> so, okay, so I've got my garlic in, and should I put some of the onions in? I put all the onions and the garlic in. And how much onions did I need? Um, probably. If you you had a medium sized onion, so probably half of it. Okay. So, like, I did this much, Cindy. Can you see it? Like, I did yeah. a quarter. I had a big, huge onion. Oh, yeah. I about a quarter of it. Yeah, quarter. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn off the heat on my skillet while I'm waiting on you to catch up. I got a head. Oh, sorry. No. All right, there we go. We're, we're starting now. We're starting to cook a little bit. Okay, you got your, your onions and the garlic in your skillet? My onions and my garlic is in the skillet. Okay, is it starting to get soft? Yep. Well, okay, it's good. starting. Yep. See it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got a few minutes. Yep. It's just starting. So I got like a couple minutes yet. So. You're so funny. Turn it on high. Just do as fast as you can. <laughs> I have no patience with this stuff. I, I really don't either. So I. I know I go a little bit too much sometimes. I think. Yeah, I mean, you just have to keep stirring, and if you stir, yeah. then it because if you leave it when it's on high, you'll burn a lot of stuff. But if you just keep well, stirring. The other, I was gonna say the other thing about cooking with the garlic and the onions. This is kind of a base for a lot of other meals. Right, so almost I everything. Would, I, yeah, exactly. Because I was going to say, this is kind of how I start a lot of my meals anyways. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then um, sometimes I add um, green peppers, like especially if you're doing Mexican or something. Or yeah. you know, a lot of Italian even you do add green peppers. Right. So the other thing that I do that's a little bit different is I put the spices in the skillet and kind of brown them a little bit. It releases the flavors a little more when you're using dry spices. Okay, so you're adding the ro like the rosemary and the thyme? Right, right. And I'm adding some basil and some oregano. And I'm just dumping it because my measuring spoons won't fit in these jars. Okay. But I'm bit about a tablespoon of each because I like extra spice. Okay. About a tablespoon. So I'm just going to stir it around and kind of coat it with the oil. And just enough so that you start smelling them cooking. Okay. And then in the meantime, I'm going to um, measure out my rice. Rosemary strong this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you want to put your vegetables in and cook them. Second, I'm still putting in the spices. Oh, okay. I'm a little behind you. Sorry. All right. I've done this a few times, so it's kind of just automatic for me yeah okay so i'll stir this up with the spices right yeah and i'd probably add well this vegetables are cooking i'd add some salt and pepper okay so then how many vegetables do i throw in go ahead and just throw in like this whole bowl um how many like is it like two cups yeah, uh, probably, yeah, probably two cups. Yeah, at least, at least half of it, maybe a little more. Okay. Because you don't want it to be like all peas and a little bit of rice. You want your proportion. Right. right. I just put them all in. Do I need any more liquid in there? Um, I think I need, you will with the peas because they'll need something to soften up. I just add a little, like a cup of water. Oh, right now? What? Do you want me to put a cup of water in there? Yeah, just for so the peas will stop, soften. Okay. Uh, a little bit. I'm going to add a little more oil because my skill is getting kind of dry. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. Because the mushrooms don't need any um, extra moisture like the peas would. Maybe start with a half a cup, not a whole cup. Well, I added a little oil. I guess if I added too much, we'll just go back the other way. Yeah, it'll be fun. All right. And you just want to cook them until they start getting soft okay. and pretty much ready to eat. Oh, okay. And then in the meat, and then pull out a bigger bowl and dump them in there so we can uh, out of the skillet while we're cooking the rice. Okay. Hey, Cindy, just an idea for you. It's kind of hard to hear you. Um, oh, okay. I don't, I don't know if it would be a good idea to get like I have one of the blue. No, it's called like snow. It's just a, a like a white speaker that you can hook into your computer and it makes it, it so you're louder. Okay. All right. So I, mean, I, I can show you what that is. I, I'll bring mine over here. Okay. Oh, this is called the snowball. And it's a microphone? 
It is. This was like $20 at Best Buy. Nice. This has a little thing and it just plugs into my computer. But whenever I do Zooms, it seems better because I people can hear me when I have this and I don't feel like I'm having to strain my voice. Yeah. Okay, it's cool. A little, a little difficult to hear you. So I keep like my volumes all the way up on my computer. Okay. It's looking. So I'm just giving you feedback. Yeah, and especially with the, the skillet making noise and everything. Exactly. Like I said, I'm just giving you feedback. I can hear you, but I'm just letting you know. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. It's going to take right. a minute for these to soften, I think, but. Yeah, my mushrooms are soft, so I'm going to turn my skillet off and put them in the bowl for later. Okay. And my rice and my broth is boiling. Yeah, mine is too. Is your um, how are your peas doing? They still need to get cooked a little. They're still kind of hard, pretty hard. Okay. But I got some water in there with them, so they're boiling. Yeah, I, I thought they might need a little bit of water for softening. Yeah. So. So I've got there, my there's um, bowl set aside with my mushrooms. We'll add that later. Okay. My broth is boiling. And um, I got my skillet off in the meantime. And I'm going to start closing up things, closing up my spice jars and putting them away while we're waiting. Yeah, that's what I was doing. But that's a, that's an important trick when you're cooking is just to keep moving and do the next step. You know, keep cleaning up as you go. I don't know if you know this or not, but on your phone, there's like a thing that says chat. Oh, never mind. It was just me. Never mind. It was, it was me. How much rice should I should I um, get ready? One and a half cups. Okay. And then tell me when your peas are ready, and we will start the rice. Okay. I'm just getting the rice measured out here while I'm waiting on those. Those are probably a vegetable that takes a little longer to cook than most. Yeah. Okay. Wait, somebody's gonna join us. Oh. Catherine? Hey, Let's see, if she's, it says she's joining. Yeah, there she's coming on. Hey, Catherine. Catherine, are you there? Maybe she doesn't have her sound on. But we'll just keep oh. going. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Joe. I'm Cindy. Nice to, see, to have you here today. We've already cooked our vegetables. Jill's are still cooking because she didn't have mushrooms. She has uh, snow peas. So that's taking a little longer than my mushrooms. And um, I've got the broth boiling for the rice and we're getting ready to do the rice next. Whenever Jill's ready. Yep, I'm still waiting on the uh, peas. But we sauteed our onions and garlic and then the spices I like to saute kind of releases the flavors. And that's my skillet where I cooked all that that you can see on the video. They're still feeling a 
little hard to me. They just take a long time. Yeah. We well, might my walk them in and cook them with the rice, you know? Yeah, okay. The mushrooms can't tolerate that. Oh. Okay. So yeah, we could do that. So the next step is to, to saute the rice in the skillet as well. And it oh, kind of okay. So I'm gonna move that out of the skillet and put it in the bowl. Yeah. Okay, the vegetables. Yeah, get the vegetables out. I'm gonna I turn my skillet back on. Okay. I think it's got enough oil still, but if you need to add oil, you might want to do that. Okay. All right, and then go ahead and put the rice in. Yeah. So I got the pan. It's like this, and we we just put the oil around in it, and it yeah. kind of. Okay. Yep, that's good. And, and then, then just put all the all the rice in there. We're just gonna put it in all at once. And still leave it turned off like on the heat. Yep. Well, I told you I cooked everything on high, so I turned mine back on high. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I am gonna need a little more oil. A little too dry. And you want to just have the rice start to brown just a little bit, and then um we'll start adding the broth. This is the next step is where you would add the wine to help get all the spices that are stuck to the pan off. Okay. Can I use any wine? I don't necessarily have like 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 a cooking white wine. I just I mean I have white wine, but it's just any kind of white wine and um if I don't drink the whole bottle, I just stick it in the fridge and leave it there and it, you know, because when you're cooking with it, it doesn't need to be fresh. But um, I'm actually out. All I have is red, and red makes the rice turn this ugly purple color. So that probably works. Oh, this one, yeah. okay. That'll work. Yeah, just and like measure out a cup. a cup. A cup, okay. Yeah. It might, mine might turn the, a different color because it's kind of like whitish pink, but I'll just go with it. Okay. Yeah, well, the red wine makes it look this weird purple color. I've tried that before. It's really? Red. Yeah. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't taste right. The, the flavor is too strong for the rice. Yeah. I don't know if you can see on the video, but the um, rice is starting to turn a little bit clear. Yeah. And um, so it's time to start adding the water. We just wanted to toast it a little bit, warm it up. So I'm going to add water. You add your wine. Okay. And see how it pulled all that. Uh, all the spices and all off the bottom of the pan. Okay. Add the, the liquid to it. Just stir it up really, really quickly so everything loosens up off your pan. And then this is the, the next part is the trick to risotto. As the, the liquid starts evaporating, then you want to just keep adding the liquid, your broth, and that's why we had it boil so that the pan stays hot when you add it. If you add cold liquid, it's going to take you a lot longer. To get it. Okay. To get it to so and it and you want to keep adding liquid and stirring and adding liquid and stirring until your rice is soft. Okay. Um, and it takes about 45 minutes, so it's you got to be patient. Okay. You see, my, my liquid is about gone, so it's time to add more. I just use a ladle. And even the lid on my pot that's boiling the broth because I don't want it to evaporate.
Now I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit to medium high. Okay. Because this, this is my large burner on my gas stove, so it, it cooks really hot. Oh, yeah. I've got a gas stove as well, so. See, that's already evaporating. So I'm going to add some more. You're just evaporating really fast. Mine's still cooking down with the with the wine. Well, that's okay. Like I said, this burner is the megawatt burner. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper too. My family always says I never get enough salt in things. Oh. But that'll bring out the flavor of the spices if you if you have enough salt in there. Yeah. I'm not getting an angle because my liquid is all going to like one side of the pan. <laughs> Your stove, the surface of your stove isn't even? I don't know. I thought it was. Maybe I'm just leaning crooked. I don't know. The liquid's evaporated, so I'm going to add some more. I'll add two ladles full this time. Okay. Just to. See how that and there'll be I'll be interested to see how your jasmine rice does with this. The arborio rice will swell up to about four times the size that it started and be soft and squishy. Almost like an oatmeal consistency when you have really good oatmeal that's really well cooked it's almost that consistency okay it's starting to thicken up good Mine is as well. And I did turn the pot that's boiling the broth down to low. Okay. Now, am I supposed to be putting in like all of this broth? Eventually, yes. Okay. Just one ladle at a time. Okay, and let it cook in and then we do another right. one. Right. Okay. I've never made risotto. Well, my, my daughter-in-law taught me how to make it. Um, I don't know if she learned when she was spent some time in Italy or what. I didn't get the whole story yet, but it, it's really easy. It just takes a little bit of patience. Yeah. It's making me hungry. Yeah, well, it's lunchtime here, so. Yeah. We'll have a nice lunch. Right. I hope I'm going to have enough broth. I might need a little bit. I have to add some water or something. Oh, shoot. Yeah, all right, it, it just has more flavor if you use broth. Yeah. I usually just buy broth, like when it goes on sale, I'll stop yeah. up on like five of them so that I have it because I know it's something I use all the time. Yeah, I like to make my own. Um, like when I'm chopping up a bunch of vegetables or I have one of those rotisserie chickens from the store. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't done that in a while, so. 
Is it starting to get mushy? It's starting to get cooked for sure. Yeah. How do you know when it's done? When it's just really squishy in that consistency. Okay. It, when it is done, that's when you add your vegetables back. Although with your okay. peas, you might add them sooner so they can finish cooking a bit. Yeah. Um, do you think I should add them in now? I um, would. Because really. then if, I can still put the broth, I can still put more broth in. Right. As long as you have room in your pan, which is going to be the other problem. Yeah, no, I, it's kind of a bigger pan, so I think it'll be all right. Okay. Well, like the mushrooms, you don't want to add till right at the end because they don't need to cook more and they'll get soggy and gross. Right. So I'll just show you a picture of what mine looks like, Cindy. Yeah. Can you see mine? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I'm trying to. I can't. I can't tell what the consistency of the rice is, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add, keep adding the. You said to keep adding the broth. So. Is your rice soft? Yeah, it's getting soft. Okay, good. We you, you want it. it like just before it turns to mush. Okay. Well, it's not quite there yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need more water. That's not, or I, I'm going to have to add water. Okay. Because that was the end of my broth, and it's still a little bit hard in the middle. The rice. Oh, okay. I feel like mine's looking like it's almost done, but. Well, and the jasmine rice probably cooks a little faster than this arborio. Yeah. And it, and it probably won't, I would expect it won't get as creamy as this will. Okay. But uh, it'll still be good. Yeah, it's just like soaking up the, the liquid right now. Well, that's all, that's what matters. And it's kind of like a simmering foil almost. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where mine is. And really, this wasn't that many ingredients. What's the recipe is that? No, it's really not. I mean, the only thing I had to go to the store for was the arborio rice, because that's not something I had in my cabinet, and the mushrooms. Okay, yeah. And I usually have mushrooms, but I must have just been out this week, and I haven't been to the store. Yeah, and um, I think dried, you can use dried mushrooms too, which I sometimes keep in my uh, pantry. And those you just need to soak them about half hour before you get started. Okay. Now I just poured the last of my broth into my pan to soak up. 
Yeah, that's what I where I am too. And then mine's about soaked up, but I don't think the rice is quite mushy yet. It's looking really creamy and thick, like like a mush, you know? Yeah. How are your peas? Are they getting done? I think so, yeah. They're they're softening up. Okay, good. And then the last step that I will do is add my mushrooms back and then I'll add the Parmesan grated Parmesan cheese. And then it's and ready to serve. And you just put that on the tip, sprinkle that like when you're ready to eat it? I know I stir it in. It, it's, I stir it in. Okay, because I don't have my, right. I gotta shred my Parmesan. Oh, yeah, you could just sprinkle it on top. That'd be good too. Okay, well I can shred it too. Isn't it like a cup? I think it's a cup. Yeah. What it was. I don't know. I just prefer the to shred it myself instead of buying the shredder. I think it's better. Yeah, I don't like the powdered stuff. I found these that come pre-shredded. So I bought this the last time, which is really, really handy. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's been one of those months when I want to get as much pre-done as possible. Yeah. That was a perfect use of that those sugar snap peas i wasn't sure what i was going to do with them i think it'll be really good in this dish I just turned the heat down a little bit. Should I, um, so I can finish like cooking? Yeah. So you can see these grains are, are that one's clear and soft. This one's still a little bit white, a little okay. bit hard. So it's getting there. Oh, yep, they are a little crunchy still. I guess I'm gonna have to add some water. Well, I got more broth. I can just put my broth in. I just don't have it heated up. Yeah, it just takes a little bit. Yeah, I'm turning my heat down too. It's starting to stick to the bottom of the pan. I thought that mine was done, but it's not. So I'll throw, should I just put some, since I have broth and I need more, just go ahead and throw that in the boiling pan first? Um. Well, it'll just, it is the reason to boil it is just to maintain the temperature. So if you okay. put it in water that's not boiling, it will drop the temperature of your rice momentarily. Okay. Just take a little longer. Okay. I'm just using tap water to add now. Okay. Well, Now I can see what you're talking about with it being like the creamy. Yeah. I should have put the water in the broth while it was boiling and then it would have mixed differently. Yeah, mix a little better, but this will be fine. Yeah. You know, the th thing about cooking is you always have to be ready to improvise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. A lot of times it doesn't go exactly as expected. So good. Mine's really close. Yeah, it's starting to get that creamy, like you're saying. Mm hmm. No crunch, just cream and a little bit chewy.
I was just checking the time on our lesson. I don't want Zoom to cut us off before we're done with our dish. Oh, yeah. I know I've been thinking about getting the, uh, doing the paid one. This is pretty creamy. Yeah. I can't wait to try some of it. I bet it'll be good. Well, I thought when I first put in all of those spices, that was a lot of spices, but now I don't see all the spices anymore. So it's all mixed in. Yeah. Well, and I like a lot of spices. I think it gives more interest to your food. Yeah. So um, that's, but that's just my personal preference. Right. And you can use as much as you want. That's part of making your own food is you get to make it how you like to eat it. Right. So this is pretty creamy. I think I'm going to call it done. It could be okay. that I'm just being impatient, but. I think I've got about a, another few minutes. My, mine is a little crunchy on the inside. So I'm going to add my mushrooms back in and most of my spices are in that since I cooked them first. And some of the recipes that I looked at um, call for a bay leaf in here, which would add it in the water as you're cooking it. And that would add a little bit of depth of flavor, but I decided not to do that. Okay. Okay, and so there, and I'm going to add my Parmesan cheese, and I'd say we're done. Voila! I'm going to stop the recording, if I can figure out how.